Megan. I hope you're having a wonderful morning with all the girls and women who are so foundational in your life. I can't begin to fully express how important you've been to me over these last four years. I knew early on that I was hooked, but four years in, you're still the funniest, smartest, stunning, and most creative person I could ever hope to marry. I know and understand the pressure you felt, especially since the new year, but the work you've put into today and the multitude of other steps leading up to it, all the while helping me through some of the toughest times in my life, you are remarkable. I truly hope you can enjoy every second of today and know that you are the star in everyone's mind. I love you, Bobcat. Love, Paul. Happy four year anniversary. That went by fast. The last four years have been full of laughs, ridiculousness, and lots of love. Occasional disagreement. I've had the best time navigating this crazy world with you. Can't wait to start this next journey as your spark keep light. Uh, how crazy is that? The last two years have been, you've been the best support. Always up for any task I had, navigating any stress or bad moods from me, all the while trying to make sure me and the boys were happy and healthy. You are really just the best. Thank you will never be enough for everything you do for us. I hope you remember today and every day just how amazing you are. I can't wait to spend forever with you. Bad puns and all. I'm so proud to get to be your wife. See you there. Get ready for your fancy wedding suit. Butt touches. I uh, love you always, Megan. Megan told us they were engaged. She sent us a photo of the picnic Paul pulled together for them to eat at the spot. They went on their first hike together and anniversary dates together. Did I completely miss the ring box in the corner of the photo? Yes, I absolutely did. What was I focused on? The picnic. It wasn't until she sent a second photo of that ring that I clued in and saw the main part of the picnic photo. I was probably more excited than I should have been, but my sister was getting married and I couldn't be happier. It has been really fun watching your relationship become what it is today. Oh, it's <laughs> Hi. We're so happy <laughs> that Paul and Megan met. They may be opposites in many ways. Megan is the perfect yin to Sir Talkalot's yak. The perfect spark to bring out the mischief in me wee boy's eye. Alright, drop him. <laughs> oh Megan, I am thrilled today and forward to have you as my wife. Paul. I'm not sure if you know this, but going into our first date, you had a lot to live up to if you're going to be my forever person. Starting from our first dates, where we'd find any excuse to hang out longer, you've always been able to bring happiness in my life. It's only gotten better since. Your boundless, though let's be honest, chaotic energy never ceases to amaze me. Be it your mischievous grin when you have a surprise, to your sick dance moves that everyone's probably going to see later, you can always lighten any day or mood. You are ridiculous, silly, ingenious, and today of all days, breathtaking. No extra words will ever express how much I love you. On that note, I promise to love and cherish you and everything that you are. And I promise to share my whole heart with you. I will always show you how precious you are to me. No matter what challenges may come, until the end of my days, I love you. I spent my entire life devouring books books that would always inevitably have those otherworldly men I could only dream of one day finding for myself. Ones who are selfless, brave, and caring, who will do whatever they can to make you feel safe, protected, and unconditionally loved. One who I would want to equally give my heart to and spend the rest of my life with. I wanted my own fairy tale love. 
Little did I know that was exactly who I was going to find waiting for me that day. I very quickly realized <laughs> you were someone I could comfortably and easily be myself with. You only had to laugh at my clumsiness once before you casually held out a helping hand on any uneven ground. You feigned equal interest in any fish that I excitedly pointed out. And you made the whole night my own perfect first chapter in what has grown into one of my favorite stories, ours. Fast forward to today and I stand here with you, ready to make promises of love, devotion, and a lifetime of magical fairy tale worthy moments. The last four years, you have brought endless amounts of kindness, patience, support, and security to my life. You filled it with so many happy memories, <laughs> wonderful laughs, and constant reminders to love myself and take care of myself. As your wife, I vow to bring the same amount of love and support to your life. I vow to take care of myself so we can continue to build and grow our life together. I vow to continue to always try and understand your nerd world and contribute my ridiculous ideas where I can. I vow to continue to remind you how wonderful you are and how much you mean to me. I can't promise I'll ever be as obsessed with you as Felix is, but I will try every day of this life to match his, enth his enthusiasm when you walk through the door. I vow to try and meet every day of this life with positivity and patience and on the days where I fall short to make up for it with my sick dance moves. <laughs> to end with a quote from a favorite book, I never dared give much of myself to anyone before, but since the first time I saw you, I have belonged to you completely. I love you and I will love you until I die, and if there is a life after that, I'll love you then. Let's let those sink in. Wow, those are beautiful vows, thanks guys. <laughs> Please congratulate the new Mr. and Mrs. Paul Morrison. <laughs> Megan, if you were looking for a guy that would love you with his whole heart, who would work hard, who would be loyal and true, and would spend a bit of each day prioritizing your needs and definitely a part of each day making you laugh, then we're gonna have to give him an A++. And seeing the two of them together was really a treat. A side of Paul I'd never seen. And the love, which is what we're all here for, was truly evident. They were totally lost in each other and consumed. But the moment I knew these two were meant to be was Megan's Halloween birthday, just before we all got locked down. I watched these two grab pillows race down the stairs in Megan's home, giggling and cackling like complete school children. Paul was actually crying from laughing so hard, which was such a beautiful thing to see. It's nice to see the emotional side of him every now and again. I've never felt more proud than being able to walk Megan down the aisle. Megan has become a beautiful young woman who is the most caring, compassionate, empathetic person that I know. She would get into trouble. We would wake up in the morning and find a two-page apology letter that proves my previous points. These letters could be put into a book called How to Properly Apologize. Megan, since the age of 13, has been my concert buddy. We both share a love of music. I introduced her to the 80s hair bands, and the first concert we saw together was Crewfest. It has ignited a passion for music that we will always share. To date, we have seen at least 100 bands together. Megan will always be my little girl and my concert buddy. Paul asked me to be his girlfriend. 
on the couch at the cottage with his clever use of a group meme, I knew I wanted to be with him forever and started imagining the big wedding of my dreams. The goal as I see it isn't just to find someone to grow old with, but to find someone to never stop being young and dumb with. And I think you can see that we've found that in spades. We can't wait to celebrate the rest of the evening. Wishes to you both. We love you and are so happy that your separate journeys have brought you together.